Hi there, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlamyTutors.com and welcome to this video on mean bond enthalpies. Now in this video we're going to look at what we mean by the word mean bond enthalpy. We're also going to look at the equation we can use as well to calculate it and we're also going to look at a works example just to top it all off. So we're going to start by looking at what we mean by the word mean bond enthalpy. Now if you are mathematically inclined, which you I assume you are if you're doing A-level chemistry, then you'll know that the mean is a type of average. And the word mean bond enthalpy is basically the average of bond energies or enthalpies. So I've got it written down on here as a definition. And a bond, a mean bond enthalpy are an average taken from different molecules of the same bond. Now, what we're talking about is like a CC bond or CH bond or any type of covalent bond that's between uh, two atoms. Now, the strength of that bond can vary depending on what it's actually bonded to. Uh, and obviously, the value of it is never the same. So in chemistry, when we talk about the word mean bond enthalpy, we talk about an average of those different uh, chemicals that that bond can exist in. So for example, I've got a, an example here. We've got, if we're looking at the CC bond, for example, and I'll just uh, highlight it here in red, there's our CC bond. Now that will have a particular value when it's bonded in something like ethane, but when that CC bond is in a diol, like this molecule here, then the bond enthalpy is actually different. The same bond, the CC bond, but it's different because it's bonded in a different environment. And so what we can do is we can take them two numbers there and work out an average uh, bond enthalpy, and we call that a mean bond enthalpy. And they're the values that we use uh, in chemistry uh, in the example that we're going to use here. Now, to find a precise value, uh, you would have to actually work out the enthalpy change for a specific molecule uh, that you're using. Uh, in this case, we are just using mean bond enthalpies, and therefore the value that you'll actually calculate here is based on a mean bond enthalpy and not the actual value as well. Okay, so we're going to look at the equation. Now, the enthalpy of a reaction is basically the sum of enthalpy change for breaking bonds minus the sum of the enthalpy change of forming bonds. Now, when we break bonds, we need to put energy in. So we describe a bond breaking process as endothermic. That means it will have a positive value. And we describe a bond forming process, obviously, as exothermic, because energy is given out when we form bonds. Now, we can work out the enthalpy of a reaction by using this equation. I'm going to go through a worked example here. Now, in this case, we're going to work out the enthalpy of combustion, which is still the enthalpy of a reaction, but it's just a specific type, because here, we're burning a fuel. We're taking methane, we're reacting it with oxygen, which is just combustion, and we're forming carbon dioxide and water. The equation is already balanced, and that's really important, as you'll see in a minute. Okay, we've also been given some uh, mean bond enthalpy data as well. We've got the different bond types that we need with an enthalpy value. And enthalpy is always measured in kilojoules per mole, and that's why I put the units up on there as well. Okay, so we're going to start by working out the sum of the enthalpy change for breaking bonds first. And so we're going to write this in, um, and do this in blue. So we're going to do breaking bonds with it being endothermic. Okay, so breaking is. Uh, Obviously, you're going to put energy in to break these, but sometimes it's a good idea to draw out the displayed formula. And that means showing all the bonds, because it makes sure that you've got every single bond there. So we're going to draw out the CH4, which is there. Now you can see CH4 has got four lots of CH bonds. And we've got the enthalpy value here. We've only got one molecule of CH4, so that's just going to be four lots of 412. So we're going to put that there. Now, if we put that in our calculator, 4 lots of 412 um, should get is 1648. Now, all of these, remember, are in kilojoules per mole. Okay. And we've also got to break an O2 bond. So we're going to put O2 like that, but we have two lots of O2. Um, so we've got an O double bond O, which is there, 496. Because we've got two molecules there, we need to multiply that by two. So that's two lots of 496. Okay, if we put that into our calculator, uh, we should get a value of 2640 kilojoules per mole. Okay, now that's all of our bonds that have been broken. So now we add them up and we find out our sum of the enthalpy change because I've got to add the whole thing up. So the sum of all of them is 26, uh, sorry, this one, that's a mistake. 
This one is 992. And the sum is 2640. Apologies. Right. Kill jewels, promote. There you go. Right. Now that's the sum of the entry change. Okay. So we're then going to look at uh, bond forming. Uh, so this is the sum of the entropy change for breaking bonds. So we're going to look at forming. Now forming we said was exothermic. I'm going to write these ones in red. Um, now when you form bonds, obviously we're forming these ones over here. So we've got a CO2. Now again, if we draw our molecule, carbon dioxide looks like this. Now carbon dioxide is two lots of C double bond O. So that's going to be two lots of 7, 4, 3. I'm going to put that there. There you go. Okay, uh, and that's going to get us a value of 1486. Uh, 1486, and that's in kilojoules per mole. Okay, uh, we've also got uh, two molecules of water as well. So I'm going to write that down there. There's a molecule of water. I'll just draw it so it's straight. Again, these are not a true reflection of the uh, bond angles. But you can see we've got two lots of water. Now we have an OH and an OH, but we've got two lots of them. So that gives us a total of four lots of OH. Now OH is 463, so that's going to be four lots of 463. Uh, and if we put that in our calculator, uh, we should get a value of 1852. And that is in kilojoules per mole. Okay. Right, if we add all them numbers up, because it's the sum of the entropy change, uh, then we should get a value of 3338. 8, and that's in kilojoules per mole. And that is the amount of energy given out when we form the bonds to make products. And the final step is, um, and we'll just do this in black, is to put our numbers in. So the sum of entropy change for breaking bonds, we said was, so this is going to be the entropy, the entropy change of combustion, because this is the reaction that we're doing. So this is uh, 2640. 2640. And we're going to subtract that away from 3338. And we should get a final value of minus 698. 698. And that's uh, kilojoules per mole. Now, you've got to look back. Look at the number and think, we know we're burning a fuel. So the fuel, obviously, we know when we burn a fuel, we generate heat. Heat is generally given out. Well, it is, it is given out uh, when we burn any fuel. Uh, and obviously, the number that we get here is a negative value. So that tells us this reaction is exothermic. That's a sensible number for this reaction. Always worth checking and going back and saying, is that a sensible number? If it's not, go back and just check out your answers again. Now, check out your working. It is really, really important, though, that you count every single bond in this because if you miss out a bond your numbers come out wrong and you actually get a mark for uh, adding up your breaking adding up your forming and then working out your final value as well and this is in kilojoules per mole uh, but again i emphasize this number is only a mean value and um, it is not the actual value and so when you actually do this reaction and you measure the entropy change it might be different to that number like say for this reason over there on the right so that's it hope that helps bye